goats back in Momba Zoo. I thought since there was an update, I would keep going. I found these at the um, shop uh, in town where you get gas and stuff, Jacques' place. I found these two things. I hate this client mix and this unique grinder disc. Uh, I'm here at the moment because I'm trying to finish up this and then rush to town because it's almost 2 o'clock and I want to get my maple syrup done because uh, I, I just about done my third barrel and I, <laughs> I want to rush it to town. I didn't want to leave one at 83%. So I'm hoping to get this done real quick here and then we're going to head to town. And then I want to go to the junkyard area and see if that's where you drop off metal because I just kind of don't know where to drop metal off. Come on. Come on, come on. Come, oh, it's, it's 100%. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go drop these off real quick, hopefully, because it's almost uh, 1,400, which is like 2 in the afternoon, right, for the people who don't know. And I'm going to put this in first, second, probably. Yeah, you know, we're going to put it right in fourth. And then hopefully none of these fall. There we go. Okay, here we are. Here we are. We just want to go this way, around these trees. There's a... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, just relax, relax, game. Okay, just calm down. Uh, uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. Sorry, I'm all gurgly. My allergies are acting up. Springtime in Canada, man. It's coming fast. <laughs> it just kind of shows up on you suddenly. We also have grid power to the house now, which is lovely. We got the, the wiring came in. It literally happened right after I finished my last video. Um, It just showed up. Like, I was like, I finished my last video and I was just driving back somewhere and then this to-do list thing popped up and goes, yeah. And then I was like, oh, okay. Um, this is great. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was for. And I think I had to do with that because it, th there it is. Um, it's been, it's been wonderful. Also, we got to talk to our brother, hopefully in the next day or so. It's going to be a busy weekend. I can feel it. I'm not super worried about maple syrup production over the weekend. I've been focusing a lot on it to get the money, but I'm not super concerned about it. And lately, I found my barrels falling out much more frequently. <laughs> Probably because I'm driving super... Dude, I gotta go. There's... there's maple, this, The Maple Circle Federation does not like lateness. They are, like, on to the minute, man. Ugh, it's gonna be one of those days I can feel it. I can feel it in my, in my... My left testicle is just tingling so bad. Could be... Could be a disease. I don't know. Could be cancer, bro. <laughs> so... <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, yeah. Here's that guy. This guy, let's send out a flyer. He's here every, like, Friday and Sunday or something. Oh, there's new stuff there, too, but I got to drop this Merple Serpel off. And I remember, I remember I got to check my mail because if I don't, I will forget to pay my electrical bill and it'll be like freaking uh, my summer car all over again. Where I'd always forget to pay my bill and my power gets shut off. <laughs> there's an orange truck over there. Why is there an orange truck over there? No, I'm no, there's the school bus. So that's a school. Okay. Excellent. That's good to know. All right. Here we are. Okay. I think, oh, geez. That one barrel is just about falling out. There we go. Come on. All right. Here we are. Here we are. Now, I know everybody thinks I should get the extra container. And that's great. I'm just about out of wood again, too. So hopefully. Ah, there we go. All right. We only got two here this time. So that's all right, though. I'm hoping, I got three grand now, I'm hoping to, I got to make 15 grand off of that Merple Serpel from last week in order to get the electric burner. Oh, stand up. There we go. Okay, launch out truck. I saw that orange truck. I want to go check that out. I'm not sure, or do I want to check out the school bus? I don't know, because there's cars parked everywhere in town here. Like, look at this. But there's, there's like the white Dodge uh, parked. Come on, get back in there. <laughs> there, okay, there we go. There's the white Dodge Park there. Look at this. Were these here before and I just never noticed? But I gotta say, the Maple Surf Federation is an enormous building. This must be like Maple Surf Country and they have a lot of people producing it because it just seems to be. I gotta go talk to Normand uh, before we leave town here. There it is. The Orange Dodge right there. I wonder if you'll ever have other cars you can buy in the game. It would be kind of neat to see, but not necessary. Like, the game does not require a whole bunch of extra. We should probably go check out that school bus, too. How much fuel do we have? Oh, geez, we're down to half a tank. Well, we'll stop and get fuel. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm all gurgly here. I apologize. Ugh. Okay, what do we got here? 100%, 100%. I got the magnetic tray. I think I showed that last time when I bought that. 
I'm going to grab this. I forgot to take it out of my car. There we go. We'll fill this up. Because we really don't need the generator anymore. So all these gas cans can just kind of hang out until we need them to like fill a car or do an emergency fill up, which is awesome. And there we go. Ah, perfect. I'm not sure if it's going to cost me more to have power to the house. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't want to have to deal with it anymore. All right. What's going on, boys? Oh, yeah. These are all my Merple Circles here. Uh, I bought them because there was an egg, an Easter egg hidden in the fridge. I haven't found all the Easter eggs yet, so I want to get... What's up? If you donate enough to get the track up and running, I guarantee you a nice surprise. Okay. So, I... <sighs> Someone asked me if I was going to get this muffler for my my thing because I'm the love cowboy. And yeah, I totally already did. Okay, we already got the shift knob. I'm just trying to double. This is where I found the um, the spray thing and the grinder disc. And there's now you can mix paint, which speaking of which, uh, we got to repaint the, the car. So you can mix paint by doing this. $30 a can. And it gives you the number. So I want to go. I want to repaint the car. Uh, anyway, so I thought, let's get it. I'm going to try this weird blue jean color forever. Oh, oh no. Cancel that. Oh, it even tells you what it is too, which is nice in case you run out. So I'm going to repaint the car because I have, I'm missing a door. Uh, I should really repaint the truck. I'm not sure anybody likes this color of my truck. I do. I like these weird kind of blue colors. And it's only a recent thing for me. I used to be like a big fan of like black cars and stuff up until about 10 years ago when everybody just decided to paint all the cars in the world black and white. <laughs> I was like, yep, I'm done. Oh, oh, there's my other barrel. I, I I lost one the other day and I wasn't sure where it was. And here it is. Okay, there we are. And I didn't want to talk about it because I felt stupid. All right, here we go. Because I ended my one video... And then drove home, and then when I got home, I was missing a barrel, and I was like, I must have been driving pretty dang aggressive. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We'll get these home. And then I think it's pretty late in the day to go exploring, I guess, because it gets dark really quick at this time of day. But we can go work on the maple syrup a bit. We're kind of low on trees, to be quite frank. Uh, and until we get the electric um, doohickey the the boiler i guess it is evaporator we're kind of stuck uh trying to save money for that so I'm, last time i made 13 grand uh but i think i've delivered less syrup in the last week because i've made a few mistakes and like flipping my truck so i'm not sure if i'm gonna get as much as last time but we'll see uh we'll see how that goes but yeah, with the electric thing, that'll make that process a hell of a lot easier, and then it will not be nearly the problem it has been in the past, and we can only hope. <laughs> Let's keep go get this act together when it comes to syrup. Are you out, bro? You are. Let's go talk. I think we should stay brothers forever, because you seem like a wonderful man. Ugh, it's a lot of work getting this guy to like, like me, considering he's my brother. Oh, I just bought more powerful air compressor early. I installed the old one in your garage. What? What? I got an air compressor now? What? What? What happened? What happened? Oh, 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 okay. I'm going to go check this out. All right. Come on. All right. I'm excited about air compressors. That's a cool thing to have. The new mirror is great. The fact it works so much better. Oh, I like that. Mirrors in video games are hilarious because the way they have to do it is by re-rendering what's behind you. So it can be a real, like, hog on resources, especially back a bunch of years ago when they first started doing it. I remember one of the first games I remember that had a really good mirror was uh, Max Payne, actually. Was it one or two? One of them had a really good... Oopsie, I've got to turn this up. What? Let me see. He left my garage door open. Where is this? Oh, my goodness. Impact guns? <gasps> Tire inflator? What? Oh, my God. This is amazing. This is, this is, this is great. Okay. Where's my, there's, oh, is that, okay. I don't want that. I want this. Okay. I want to use this and I want to repaint this car to some degree. Okay. You can actually see the point at which it has enough paint on it. See in the bottom left there, 
Uh, there's RGB values. Watch when I paint the door. They'll change until they stop. You know when to stop because then you've used enough paint. There, see? Look at that. That's cool. Why can't I paint the... There we go. Perfect. This one I was really concerned about. There we go. Don't run out of paint, please. Although I do have the paint number here. If it does happen. Oh, you can even paint like little bits like this. There we go. And then the roof, right? Okay, here we are. You know what? It's not the most attractive color, but I kind of like it. It's different. I've watched other people's YouTube videos on this. It's definitely different than theirs. <laughs> oh, I'm a unique son of a... No, I'm kidding. The eyebrows are... Or the eyelashes are absolutely hilarious. I'm going to keep this paint can, actually. Um, Specifically for the fact in case I ever got to repaint so we know the color. Although, I think if you just hold the paint can, it'll tell you. Yeah, so you can get the values off or off of it at the bottom there if you really need to. But there we go. So that's repainted. Uh, looking good. So th this is this is great. I love this. So how, how does this work? Let's just. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so much faster than the wrench. Oh, my God. Excellent. This is great. Okay, goodness. Okay, we got to go. Purple Serple, man. That thing is going to be full as heck. I did produce some. Oh, should I bring the truck? Yeah, I should bring the truck. Because it's got the barrels in it. It's got some of the barrels in it. Oh, man, I still really. Oh, you know what I got to do? God, I'm just so all over the place today. <laughs> Magnetic thing for whatever these are called. Uh, for bolts and whatnot. Uh, now that we're on the grid, too, I, I really want to manage my, my power expectations. The lighting is so much better. Like, so much better in this game now. But I have most of my barrels here, which is nice. So even if I don't get all the money I need from my maple syrup this weekend, I should have enough by the end of the weekend to sell to the place, to the Federation, that I will uh, stay in there, guys. <laughs> I, I will be able to afford my, my electric. Once I have the electric thing, it's balls to the walls with car mods. I just couldn't keep chopping down trees and having to pay attention to Merple Circle. That's why I'm doing this. There's too many episodes of me just... Just hanging out doing Merple Serple. Oh, yeah, by the way, do you want to see something else cool I've learned? Also, i got to find the rest of the uh, Easter eggs. I'm assuming there's one at the cabin because I haven't been there yet. And I'm assuming there's probably one at the windmills, maybe. I don't know. Look at this. You can use these to, like, climb up <laughs> places. I was up on the roof the other day doing this. For some reason, though, I have the hardest time landing this, which is weird because I'm really good at, like, Mario games. <laughs> there we go. See? I can get up here and check things out. Surrounding your surroundings. Check them out. It's a good way to scout. Now, here's the problem. I got four woods. And I got... I'm hoping... Uh, how much do I have in here? 63. I ran it earlier to finish up that barrel. It just kind of ran itself out, right? But what I'm hoping I can do... Is you can go in there. And then just, just run this out... Uh, Heading into the evening, and then tomorrow morning we can go out explore. Just go out exploring. So I won't make you watch me produce maple syrup right now, but uh, I got to cut down some trees as well. Because look at look at look at look at look at I'm out. I'm out of I'm out of everything. Where's where's the thing? There it is. And we got I keep this up here now because I was I was doing the same thing I do with my wrench and I was losing it constantly. So that's better, I think. But what's nice is I have these right here. So I'm hoping that this will tide me over at least for now. I got to just double check this though. It's not ready yet, but I'm going to I'm going to cut them anyway cuz I'm so close to the electric burner. I think we'll be all right. I'll cut down at least 3 or 4. There we go. Okay. There's that. Because it's just about 7 o'clock at night. And that's when the time speeds up. So I got <laughs> I got to get this thing working fast. All right, let me see. On, on. 
There we go. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm done Merple Circling for the night and going to bed. And then tomorrow morning, we'll go out and explore and see if we can't find another Easter egg or two. And maybe go see if the junkyard is where you drop off the metal. Because I think that would be make sense. Does that You know what I mean? Like if you had the metal thing there. You know what this, this place does need is an outside light. <laughs> this, this place needs a definite outside light. Hey, Santa, go. Can we get like a like a light here on the building, maybe, or a lamp post, like right on the property here? There we go. Come on. Hopefully, this will be enough to get me through at least some of it, anyway. There we go. Because once we have the electric thing, the trees then become a moot point, and we can just. Deliver them to my brother if you really feel like making some extra coin. Or the, the log place. Excellent. Perfect. Let's turn on this light. Yeah, like, there's some light comes out of the place. I'm just thinking it would be nice to have a light on the outside. But you guys do you, you know. I missed these ones here for some reason. All right. What is this, Gary, Indiana? All right, excellent. Love Cowboy is Maple... Ma you know what? Do you know why I'm so good at this with the maple syrup? It's not because I'm Canadian. It's because I'm the love cowboy. Now, you're probably wondering, what does he mean by that? I'm used to being a stuff that's sticky and wet. It's just what it is. It's how I roll. Oh, we're getting a little cold. All right, put this in. See, someone in the comments was like, and I'm not making fun of this person, but I was like, they're like, oh, yeah, you you, you got to watch your temperature, man. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I literally, if you watch me play the game, I literally run back and forth looking at the temperature gauge and then. Do it doing that and then going here and going, oh, yep, yep, we're fine here. Grabbing a barrel and I go back and check the temperature. That's what I do constantly. Let's see here. Let's put this under here like such. Oh, it's kind of on an angle. Is that going to be all right? That's eh, fine. We still got barrels in the truck here. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, like I said, I'll, uh, I'll come back when I'm done with this so you don't have to tolerate me doing this. Okay, so it's the next morning. It's 6 a.m. Let's pick a shirt. Look at all the new colors, man. Oh, is it a pink day? Is it a yellow day? Is it? You know what? I think it's a freaking orange day. I want, I want this orange shirt. Oh, do I have it on already? Is that? Is that what's going? No, I thought I had the yellow shirt on. There we go. Perfect. So we got an orange shirt on now. I gotta eat some poutine, homemade poutine of all things. And now it looks like I ran out of poutine, but I've stocked my fridge full. Of poutine. Um, 100%. It is 100% full of poutine. Uh, because I can't. Now, let's go head over to the cabin, I think. I think we're going to go to the cabin. Do you want to take the car or the truck? Car's right here. Let's take the car. Truck's already over there. We'll take the car. Because we can. All right, let's see here. Marble Circle's been produced. This is definitely in on an angle. 0% tint sucks, I got to tell you. All right, let me see here. Let's, uh... We're only at half a tank of gas. So we got to be a little bit careful, but let's uh, put the windows down. Perfect. Okay. Let's put her in reverse. Turn out the parking brake. Okay. Try not to hit that wall. Perfect. Oh, jeez. You know, I noticed traffic doesn't go by my house, though. Is that a log over there? What is that? Oh, it's just the ground. There we go. Ooh, oh, just It bogs hitting second gear no matter what I do to an engine. I think it just needs a bit of work. Boy, this thing is so squirrely with this. Uh, I think I got the L. Do I have the limited slip diff in this? Did I buy that? I think I did. I hate welded diffs, man. They're impossible to drive on the street. All I do is chew up tires. If you're a drifter, yeah, makes sense. But a welded diff is just trouble waiting to happen if you're not used to like racing cars do not weld your diff trust me on this everybody's gonna say oh yeah it's no big deal yeah, people do it all the time do it myself like do, i know i understand but you know the first time you come up against like a wet road or something and you're not used to it okay whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i saw the abs kick in there all right let's get uh This is, the, this is like the weirdest road. Like, this is... When I was a kid, my father used to be really... Uh, well, not really into, but used to enjoy four-wheel drives. 
They go on four-wheel drive in a little bit, and he used to find these roads, and in, I don't know if they have them anywhere else, but in Canada, they used to be called use-at-your-own-risk roads, and they would literally tell you, to like, you can use this road, but it's at a risk of yourself, and we're not responsible if you get injured because we don't maintain this road. And it was just, like, you'd go down these things, and it'd be, they'd be ridiculously terrible. Like, it was great. It reminds me of those, like, really steep, you know? He had a, a time he had, like, a, he had like a K5 uh, Blazer at the time and it was uh he was a big he's a big fan of that he had my his 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 favorite vehicle though was oddly uh he had an eddie bauer bronco it's ra i remember it was raven black and tan and it was just a gorgeous truck for the time anyway the late 80s early 90s and it was it was just a really nice truck i, I remember sitting in that thing going wow like the seats in this are like way better than your average like ford because they're <laughs> Like, it was just really nice. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. I don't know what what to say about it is. My father is also pretty brand agnostic. You know, whatever was a good deal or, you know, worked for him. That's what he would get. He had an old Chevy, uh, Chevy pickup truck, an old C10 Chevy. Now, is this... Oh, here's there's a phone number. 8438. Now, do I just do I just toss it in this bin? Is that is that what happens? We should call the number and find out. But I'm I'm wondering if there's any Easter eggs in here. Eight four three eight. Can I can I put that? You know, I'm gonna put this in my phone because if I don't, I'm gonna forget. Eight four three eight. Oh, all right, excellent. I'm gonna put that in my phone, which is right here. I feel like there may be an Easter egg in here. See, the front of my Galaxy, for people who are wondering, kind of have these stacked headlights like that. I realize that's not a Galaxy. I missed a radio in here. Look at that. I just, I want, I just, if there's an Easter egg in here, it's going to be so hard to find. Because there's so many cars to look at. I guess we're just going to go through each car one by one, I guess. Let's just take a quick peek. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everything is, is grand, great, and wonderful. Mm, there's this BMW that looks just like mine. I hope your lives are treating you well. If not, I hope it gets better. Things always get better, or well, I guess things things can always get worse. They don't always get better, but... Is this another BMW like mine? I think it is. Oh, there's two of them in here. Oh. Wait a minute. Is this the same one? No, there's two. Definitely two. Can't look in those. Can't look in those. This I want them to, <laughs> to let me use. <laughs> That'd be cool. Okay, that old hot rod would be neat. I don't see anything in there. Nothing in there. Nope. No. Now, if I miss it and someone knows where, if it's in here and I walk by, please tell me in the comments. Because at least I, I tried to check before I asked for help. That's always my thing. I like to try things on my own. I get really super uh, pissed off when people start telling me how to play games. I really do. Uh, I've gotten this far in my gaming setup. So <laughs> I have a, this, this I want to restore too. I don't know what that is, but I want it. I know that. I'm not seeing anything. What about the truck? I feel like this truck is going to be a thing later on because it's the only one in the whole place. So I'm assuming, and like, just like this, this is the only one with wheels on it. Um, oh, it's not in this pile of junk, is it? Nope. Okay. So I'm assuming we either call this number before we're allowed to, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. So you just throw it in the bin. Oh, I should have brought the truck down. Well, we can do that. Let's do that. Okay, well, let's go check the... Let's go see if there's an Easter egg at the cabin. Then we'll head back. It's only 9 in the morning. We'll head back uh, with a truck full of scrap metal. Because none of those old parts we need anymore. Did I drive by it? Crap, did I just, did I just go by it and didn't notice? I'm always a little nervous bringing this car down here because the fact I flipped the other car. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
And this thing isn't exactly full of fuel, so. And also, I want to check out the races, possibly. Oh, God, these, these blind hills are so scary. There we are. All right. Yeah, but outside of drifting, welded diffs are ridiculous. Okay. Nothing a little limited slip differential. Posy if you're a Chev guy. Uh, track lock if you're a Ford guy. I'm not sure what Dodge calls theirs, to be honest. Hello? Is there an Easter egg in here somewhere? Hmm. Not that I can see. Or am I, am I just... No, maybe there isn't one here. I figured there might be because it's so out of the way. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't check the basement. Want to check the basement, maybe? Oh, God. Help, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Can, can we unstuck me? Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> I've never used the unstuck button before. Oh, God. What? what oh, oh, here we go. Okay, cannabis farm not implemented. Okay, that's fine. So nothing down here. All right. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think there is an Easter egg here. Not that I, well, not that I can see anyway. So it must be somewhere else. Because I don't, and this is under, is it under the porch? Is it on the roof? I don't know. Is it down at the dock? Is it out on the corner? Out in the street? I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, well, no problem. I think it's time to do some metal recycling. Oh, getting a truck down here is going to be a bear and not lose all the parts. Why is it revving up? Okay. You know what I'll do? I'll check the entrance gate because maybe they placed it on there. But at the moment, I haven't seen anything yet that resembles an Easter egg. Whoa! <laughs> Just ramp that. Nope, nothing here. Yeah, second gear in this thing's a bit of a dog. Like, it revs out first gear great, and then second gear is just a dog. The problem is, is it just isn't making a ton of torque. And so, oh, relax, buddy. You're fine. Oh, oh, geez. You know what I should do, though, is check the, the windmills. Let's do that while we're here. Because I'm going to feel stupid if they're up there and I didn't check them. There's only three, so it's not exactly super hard to check them. It's just, it's a butt. <laughs> We're trying to get the metal thing done. But at least I'm pretty sure you can drop off the metal any time of day, probably. Let me see here. Okay, let's just, all right. Check up. Oop, is there anything in here actually first? Okay. Ah. Having to go all the way up here to check this is ridiculous. Now, people told me I can drop off without killing myself. I don't believe them, and I'm afraid to try it. Should we try it? Because then we're going to leave the car here. If that happens, the car is going to get stuck here, and we're going to have to walk back for it at some point or have it towed for 100 bucks. You know, 100 bucks is a lot of money <laughs> in this game. It really is. Come on, buddy. Climb to the top. Over the top, bud. Let's do it. Okay, let's see. Woo! All right. Okay, all right, they're all the way up here now. Nothing in there, and okay, let's, uh, oh, God, oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, no fall damage, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 there's my car, all right, boy, that gave me the heebie-jeebies in my stomach, man, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a freaking hero, look at me, okay, so we gotta check that one out still, but. I thought it might be worth checking out these things because if I was hiding Easter eggs, I'd definitely hide one in one of these. 
But I'm not sure. Like, I got the one at the garage. Where else did I get the other one? I got the one that Santa Goat just gives you at the beginning. I found the one um, in the maple syrup place, and I found the one at the poutine shop. So I'm not sure which other ones I still need, but we're going to have to find them at some point because I'm, I'm kind of just like, I want to know <laughs> what happens if you find them all. But I don't know. Uh, we may have to uh, just, you know, not get them all because the game is fairly large and spending all that time wandering around looking for Easter eggs. I don't have time for that kind of crap, yeah? I really don't. Well, let's see here. Okay, let's get up in here and anything around? No, I don't see anything. What's that? Okay, let's open this. Hmm. No, nothing here. Okay. Oh, goodness sakes. God, that gets in my, the pit of my stomach every time I do it. And I'm not even, like, like super concerned about heights, but, man. Well, I am scared of heights, but I've, I've learned to just kind of deal with it. I can still go up high without any issues. It's just, you know, I don't want to be up there. But <laughs> that's the way it goes. So I'm thinking we'll go load up that metal, take it back, and then call the number either tomorrow or whatever. You know, unless there's time left today to do it, but let's see here. Uh, so it's nice to have the power tools, though. I like that. Or the air tools, I should say. Okay, Dude, let me in. Uh, whoop. It's nice to have air tools. Uh, you know, like they, they work fantastically. <laughs> and that's the thing, though. Like compressors can be a bit expensive, but they've gotten a lot cheaper than they used to be. I'll tell you that much. Compressors used to be much more expensive. Now you can get a decent one for, you know, a few hundred bucks, but back in the day, geez. Okay, come on, just just a little faster would be lovely, eh? Okay, let's get, come on, bud. Uh, okay, there we go. It's the last chance here. Whoa, there's one seed in there. I don't want to have to. I already got lots of those. Okay, oh, God, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Where'd I park my car? I thought it was down here. Um, sugar. Oh, no, it's over on this side. Dude, could you... This guy is not fast. Like, even at a, like, at a walk, he's pretty slow. At, at a run, he's just pretty slow. Okay. Jeez. All right, here we are. All right, so my car looks so small <laughs> from a distance like this. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, I think those eyebrows need to come off, or I or the eyelashes need to come off, or my viewers are going to be angry. Okay, and perfect. All right. So we'll go head back to the to the truck, load up uh, some metal. And then see if we can't ditch it in that bin and get money for it. Because why not, right? I'm always a fan of, of, of like that type of mechanic in a game where you can get money or something through recycling or whatever. You know, I'm not going to worry about the maple syrup today at all. I think I'll just... Let it be for a day so I can do other things. Excellent. Here we go. Perfect. Now, like I said, we got to get the truck. Why well, short shift this thing constantly? Because it's just like an 8,000 red line is super high. Now, I was having this discussion on my uh, Discord and some people really like high revving engines. And I've more of like... Here's the thing, like if you're on a racetrack all the time, a high revving engine's fine. A low torque, high revving engine on the street is is like exhausting to drive on a regular basis. Low end torque is great on the street when you don't have to think about it. You can just kind of like get up and go. Oh, here we go. Let's drive right into the garage. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Here we are. And stop. All right. And off you go. Perfect. Okay, this is working out great. There we go. Now we're running... Uh, oh, should, we should probably water the plants. Ugh. I always forget about this. 
I'm not sure if they die or if they just don't grow if they're not watered, but you get some more water here. I've never let them go very long without water, so I don't know. Dude, there we go. And water that and that and that and that and that and that. All right. Excellent. You know, there's a whole area above my garage. I would love to see something up there, like maybe a woodworking place where you could turn wood into stuff and sell it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, bring the truck over here. We'll load up some metal. I'll try to load up all the metal I can and then uh, drive it down. I'm not like I said, this thing's already going to be full. Oh, it's getting close to full. We could light a fire and just let it burn and it would help eliminate some of that maple syrup. Uh, maybe I'll do that real quick because that way I can just like walk away and just let it burn itself out. But let's do that so we can fit a little more purple circle in there. Okay. Let's see here. Put in one. Two. Whoa. Three. And four. And we'll light this up. Once all that actually gets in there. This is why I don't light it up with only like one piece in there because they fall out all the time. There we go. All right, put this up here. There we go. Gonna need a new one of those soon. Well, actually, maybe not if I, uh, there we go, perfect. So this will just run and help eliminate some of the syrup that's in there. There we go. Perfect. All right, here we are. Did I get all the barrels out? Yep, all right, we're good. All right, now we'll go back, grab as much scrap metal as possible. Oh, you're fine, bud. Relax. That's why we have this. We're good. All right. This will calm us down. There you go. A little anxiety medication. Perfect. Let's uh stop this here. Let's go open the garage. I shouldn't have closed this. And we will close this up here, bring this off. Get as close to this metal as we can without trying to bump my car. We can leave this running. The garage doors are open. We're not going to die. So can we get rid of this? Because this is in pretty good shape, but I want to get rid of it. So there's an old differential. The whole old engine. Anything I could fit in here is going in here because we don't need all this junk. If the game was like, hey, you got to... Uh, I might keep the original shift knob, though, and the original steering wheel. Because if the game is like, you need to replace parts once in a while, like, uh, what's that game called? My Summer Car? Then it might make sense to carry a spare around just in case something breaks, you can fix it at least enough to get a new part. But since the game doesn't seem to do that yet, we're not going to worry about it. And if this is just money waiting at the table, man. Oh yeah, we want to save this. We're going to keep the, the original steering wheel. Also the bus steering wheel. I think I'll keep the bus steering wheel. I like the bus steering wheel. It's funny. There we are. And this is perfect. And that's perfect. At least all this stuff's fairly small, so it fits a little bit. Now, the the, the big, long uh, exhaust is going to be a problem, but that can go in there, and this can go. That's fine. Okay, and then it's just this big, long-ass tube. All right, let's see. Is that is that all the stuff? Yes, it is. All right, smoke this up. Let's get back in the car. Probably don't want to smoke that with gas in the way there. It's only 2 o'clock. We got lots of time. Oh, yeah, just, just get rid of this. Also, too, it might be... It'd be awesome. It would be awesome, actually, if, if the scrap metal thing gets played out. If you could buy wrecks and then strip them for parts just for the scrap metal. I know guys who do that in real life. Whoa! That was a little dangerous. Forgot forward gears. Forward gears only. There we go. All right. So we'll take this all down to the scrap guy. Besides, I've been meaning to get rid of it anyway. So if we can just get rid of it, maybe get a couple bucks for at least some of it. Like, maybe not all of it, but some of it will be worth some money. 
I gotta imagine there's a hundred bucks worth of scrap here, at least. Besides, we need all the money we can get right now for that uh, electric smelter. Because like, once we have that, money is going to be easy peasy. Because I can just go turn it on when the uh, maple syrup starts flowing and just let it run all day. And all I have to do is every once in a while show up and replace the barrel. Because it holds two barrels worth in its little container. And then uh, if you put a barrel in it, it lets you basically hold three barrels worth at a time. Is this it? Oh yeah, we're right here, right? Yeah. Excellent. This, 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 this is just so scary to me. Okay. Okay, it's just... Ugh. And I've actually driven down things worse than this. I used to have this little um, Ford Ranger, and it was a, it was actually a fairly rare, believe it or not, model. It was uh Oh no, what happened? Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. It was a... Uh, God, what gear was it? An 88, 89? I can't remember what it was now. I just made a mistake there. Okay, there we go. And it, uh, it came with a factory, uh, fog light bar, a factory, uh, tubular bumpers front and rear. It was just a special package you could get, but it was like super not common. And I just bought it on a whim. Not real. I thought someone had added it aftermarket, <laughs> but it was not aftermarket. It was like a factory p pieces from Ford. So when... People were super like interested by where I got these bumpers and stuff from, and I said, I have no idea. They just came on the truck. I've owned a lot of Fords in my lifetime, so it's like one of these things I know a lot about for some reason. I've always had really good luck with them, so I don't like to uh uh like certain motors of theirs are really like ridiculously uh hard to break. So not the most powerful things, but like the two point three liter, for example, theirs, the old one is is like a 90 horsepower piece of garbage, but it's so underpowered. It used to be a tractor motor that it's like really, really hard to to break. <laughs> like, it's, like, so it'll last forever if you just, you know, treat it kind of basically good. It's not powerful at all, but I like that. When I'm looking for just a regular car, I like that type of reliability. Like the old Chrysler Slant 6 reliability. There we go. The old Valiants and stuff, man. Man, I miss those kind of cars. I think people don't think I like old cars because I'm always talking about new cars are way better. And people can argue with me all they want. The proof is in the statistics, and I statistics don't lie. The fact is, old cars are not nearly as reliable as new cars. Let's see here now. And you can argue with me all you want. You're still wrong. <laughs> so it's not, it's not my fault. Ah, oh, there we go. Like I said, you can just go look all this stuff up, and it'll uh, it'll tell you. Now, what am I going to do? Oh. That's a lot of kilograms, man. Well, it's because that engine's in there. Okay, let's just open this up, because why not? Oh, there we go. <sighs> now, you know, everybody's got those stories of, oh, my uncle or my father owned this Chevy pickup truck and had half a million miles. Well, sure, you like lots of things have that. There's so many million-mile Volvos out there, it's insane. But uh, those, are the, those are definitely the... Uh, not the norm. And, and anybody who's being honest knows that it doesn't take away from the love of the vehicle. I don't know why people get so upset <laughs> because people get really upset when you say stuff like that, but it doesn't take your way. I love the vehicle. Like one of my favorite vehicles of all time is a DeLorean and it's garbage. It's an underpowered piece of garbage, but boy, is it, is it cool looking? And it's got such a history to it. And then the connection with back to the future, like, you know, that movie, those movie series made a lot to me as a kid. Like, so like, you can get mad or you can just be realistic and say, yeah, I know it's crap, but I love it. Thousand bucks. Holy sugar beets. Why, why didn't you get this? What? Oh. Oh, okay. So I, c I couldn't sell this. Everything else I could sell, but I can't sell the diff. All right. No worries. That was, that's a good day. <laughs> that's a good day right there. All right, here we go. I want to get out of here before it gets dark. I still think there's an Easter egg here and I just haven't found it. God dang it. Easter eggs are a pain and everybody's going to be like, you walked right by <laughs> and I'm going to feel stupid. <laughs> oh yeah. It's going to be a thing. I can feel it. At least all because this diff now and I don't care about open diff. What are you going to do? What are you do with an open differential? Unless you're going to sell the car. 
I think I have the welded diff in my car right now. Maybe I do have the open diff. I don't, or the, uh, I can't remember. Oh God, just turn, please. I don't, I can't remember if I bought the, uh, the limited slip diff. I, th I thought I did, but I didn't see the old differential. So I'm starting to wonder if, uh, I haven't pur purchased it yet. And that would explain why my car gets so squirrely on straightaways. And you have to get it perfectly straight before it'll you know, track straight and not just start doing donuts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can understand why my guy's got a lot of anxiety. Oh, okay. Yep, there we go. That tree there really freaks me out. Okay, here we are. Besides, we're going to see hey, how much money we're going to make today. Oh, it's getting late in the day. My Merple Circle is out of whack. I'm hoping I can get home before the Merple Circle runs out of the heater. Because sometimes you get back and it's just barely working, but I need to drink a maple syrup, so I'm going to have to fire it back up regardless. There we are. Perfect. Okay, here we are. This is... This, this, see, this truck, I don't know what kind of rear end this truck has, but it's probably open. No one, if, if it's like any old Chev, old Ford, old Dodge from this time period, uh, it'll have an open differential. Most likely. It's not always a hard and fast rule, but it seems to be they didn't worry, worry about those in trucks in the 80s and 90s. Even the 70s, for God's sakes. All right, here we go. All right, perfect. Did we lose this thing? Nope, we still got it. So I guess we got to keep this. That's cool. But nice, the garage is nice and cleaned up now. Except for the shifter that's just floating in midair. There we go. Close this up. Oh, yeah, we better go check on maple syrup. Unless, do I have any in the truck? I don't think I do. Nope. We should go run it because we need to drink some. This is where the can air comes in handy, I'm sure. And people always tell me get the canning thing. I just can't justify the money for it right now. It just seems like a big old waste of cash money. Oh, this thing fill up again? Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I can see why people... Oh, God, the maple syrup's freaking out. All right. Yeah, there's no smoke coming out of the stack, so I'm going to assume... There we go. Is it after four? It is. There, that's that's another full one. Excellent. The problem is you got to get this thing up and running to... There we go. Thank you. To get drink the maple syrup. But that's fine. We'll get it up, get it hot, get the maple syrup rocking and rolling, and then we'll have a drink so we don't die. We'll go to bed and see how much money we made. And uh, maybe just for poops and gigs, we'll uh, go through Sunday without actually doing anything. Just skip through it. And then we'll uh, go buy our heater on Monday. We'll see. Where, where are we at here for time? I'm at 54 minutes. This could be a longer one, boys. All right, here we go. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I was intending to do that. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Now it's never going to go back up there. Is this is this what's happening? There. Okay. Just boil it up so I can drink some of that purple syrup, man. That's already 50% full. Holy crap. Come on. Any second now. I wonder what this is for. It's a modified grinder disc, but it doesn't really explain how it's modified. Can I use it in the garage, maybe? I definitely should put it in the garage. I like this. I hate this client mix. It doesn't do anything, but I'm hoping it will. Here we go. Ah, solve that problem. Now, you just do your thing for a bit. I'm going to put more... Dude, pick up the wood. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a little more wood in you. And then I'm just going to go sleep because I want to know how much money I made. I want to know if I have the $17,999 required to get the electric doohickey. And if not, it'll probably be close, at which point I can do Merple Circle tomorrow, bring that stuff to drop off at the Federation, and that'll probably get me over the over the hump. Because reasons. And I also have a bunch of uh, oregano I can sell uh, that I'm working on as we speak. See? I got all this oregano right here. I got nine of them. So one more and I can have a bundle. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah, sleep. Let's go sleep. 
It's my energy. Oh, we need poutine. Eat that. I like how we eat the bowl too. It's good roughage. All right. 1,700 hours. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh, yes. <laughs> 14,600 bucks. Electric doohickey. Here we come. Okay, I'm going to sleep through the rest of the night, though. Screw this business. Oh, yeah. Perfect. This is so good. Like we're, we're, we're on our way, man. We are on our way. It is a purple shirt. Is it purple shirt? Yes, pink shirt day. Look, this, this is gray. Did I put on gray? Yes, it's pink shirt day. You know why it's pink shirt day? Because reasons. Because, yes. So we just might fly through this day as fast as possible. To get till tomorrow and then... Because I can just literally go to sleep anytime I want and then skip the day, I think. Ah, oh, we should probably do maple syrup. God dang it. <laughs> I just, I'm obsessed with doing it properly to some degree, not completely. There's very lot of people out there that are maximizers, I've noticed. That's what I like to call them, where people who like want to max out your profits, max out everything. I don't care about that. I just want to have fun. So as long as I'm having a good time doing it, that's all I'm concerned about. So like me running around, skipping certain days and not wanting to do maple syrup certain days and stuff. It's just like, ah, you know what? I feel like doing this. So like right now, I'm going to smoke some, uh, some clove cigarettes here. Good time. Good times. Oh, yeah, it's going to calm me down. That's exactly how this works. Yep. Oh. We should be able to finish this up, I think. All right, how much did we get? There's another 100% barrel here. Is this, are these all hundreds? Oh, they are. And we still have 52% in the reservoir. All right, here we go. I was thinking about playing Planet Crafters tomorrow. I got to say, I was watching Jessica B play it. Shout out to Jessica B. Go check out her YouTube channel. Tell her I sent you. Um, I was watching her play it live, and it looks like kind of a fun, simple, survival-y type game, but you get to terraform a planet, and there's this weird obsession I have with the idea of terraforming a whole planet. Since I was a kid, I just thought it'd be the coolest thing to try to do, and now it's a video game. So I might give it a shot. It doesn't look like it'd be a long series, maybe eight or ten episodes total, but I think, oh, I was doing this perfect every time, and now it's just like tip over, fall down. You stupid map torch. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, just gonna, just gonna do this now. There, finally. All right. So we'll run this up until, I think... I think it opens at eight or not. I don't remember, but basically let's get, we can toss. Oh, oh, okay. Ugh. Oh no, it doesn't open today. Oh yeah. There's no truck here either. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just I've mistakes have been, oh my God. Every time I touch a wall, things bounce around. Okay. Here's a tip developers. And this is for anybody who develops games in this scenario where this is a thing where if you, you know, have physics on your stuff, if you put something up against the wall, have it interact with the wall and stop so when you drop it, it doesn't go flying around. I'm just suggesting. And if you don't want to do that, if you do set it so when it's inside a wall, it places it on the nearest side of the wall. So if I'm a little far in, it would place it on the outside close to the wall. If I was a little here, it would place it on the inside close to the wall. I just think that's a better system. I feel like I want to put this in my garage because I feel like this may be useful one day and I don't want to lose it. And we got to get the truck anyway um, over here at some point. But not today. We don't need to worry about that today, I guess. And I feel like I might just, like I said, skip over today. Because it just kind of makes sense. And then we go into getting stuff tomorrow. But then again, we could bring in $1,000 worth of maple syrup. Pretty easily. Can we just toss this through the window? <clears throat> yeah, that, that worked. All right. <sighs> okay, put this here. I feel like I want to hook it up to this. <laughs> But hey, what do I know? All right, perfect. Let's bring the truck over there. The truck's more useful over there than anywhere else, so. There we go. We'll go this way today. Doing a burnout in third gear. <laughs> nice. Well, it's on gravel. 
Is it is it here or is this is this just my imagination and I'm gonna fall into the ditch again? I've done that several times. There it is. Perfect. All right. Let's go up this way. Oh, relax, buddy. You're gonna be fine. There we go. And stop off. There we go. Perfect. You making some herbal syrup right now? Yeah. Nice. So I'll do this for a bit. At least drain this out. I'd like to have four or five to take to market tomorrow. There we go. And the maple syrup hasn't even started flowing yet today. So maybe I'll just chew through some wood in some of these barrels and we'll, we'll call it a day. But I don't want to get rid of all my barrels because then I won't have anything to work with my electric doohickey. All right. This is going. And then we can ignore maple syrup production forever. So I'll finish this up and then I'll go sleep for the day and just go from there. Okay, it's the next morning. For some reason, I didn't gain any energy back from sleeping. <laughs> so that there's that. Um, but because I only had a little bit of uh, sleep to go off of here. Is, do my plants need water in this morning? They do. We'll do that. Then we'll take the truck into town and go uh, drop it off for the maple syrup because I can. There we go. All right. Well, it's going to be open soon. And open and do. Okay, there we go. Is that good? All right, that's good. And water. There we go. And we'll, we'll go down here. We'll get the uh, oregano done. All right, so a little oregano cultivation is going grand. Okay. And bam. All right, so we have five Merple Serple barrels. The Federation is going to love us this morning. So we'll drive into town at a leisurely pace, see what's up. Uh, I think they open at 8, maybe? I don't remember. We should get new rims for the truck, too. Can we do that? I think it'd be really cool to have new rims on the truck. Now, now that we're going to be rolling in Merple Circle. So I got five of those in there. That's as much as I like to do in a day, because it fits in the bed of the truck really easily. And I don't got to mess with it too much. There we go. Excellent. Okay, this is going this is going quite well. What a day, man. We 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 we've scrapped metal. We've You know, if I wouldn't have scrapped that metal, I wouldn't have had enough cuz they gave me a thousand bucks and I need I need well, 18,000 almost even to get that thing. So if I hadn't scrapped that metal, I wouldn't have had enough money. Well, I guess I would have cuz I would have paid gotten this new uh maple syrup run in, I guess, but Shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you guys are here for this adventure, though, man. This has been a heck of a time trying to get to this point. But here we are. Oh, okay, slow down. Anything fall out? No, we're good. Okay. When they're laying on their side like that. Stop. Why aren't you stopping? Just making sure they're all still there. I thought I saw one fall out. All right. There we go. Come on. Ah, oh, perfect. All right. Look out, yellow truck. I'm coming through. Looks like an old Chevy Blazer, man. Where I used to live, everybody had that, like, a model of Chevy Blazer that looked like that in forest green. I don't know what the deal was with that, but everybody had one. Every third family had one. I don't know what it was. Perfect. Downshift a little, downshift a little, and make the turn. I'm a very aggressive driver in this game, <laughs> so I'm never I'm never get, being patient. I'm always fast and furious here. There we are. Come on. Too fast, too syrupous. Okay, here we go. Come on. And here we go. It should be open soon. It is Monday morning. <sighs> is it open at 8? Oh, maybe not. What time does it open? Eight. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to get paid so much cash money for this. There, take this. We'll buy a new barrel while we're here. Almost got 20 grand, which we're going to spend all in one shot. Excuse me. I would like to buy your upgraded electric. Yes. You won't regret this. No, I won't. What up, Eric? What are you saying, bud? Can I buy this barrel? Thanks. Okay, here we go. We go buy one barrel a day. Which I understand, they probably have to restock, but that's okay. We're going to go home and check out our winnings. Once we talk to Norman. 
Normand is a is an integral part of our uh, our plans. <laughs> so we got to talk to him, and become friends with him, because if we don't, they, they, I think he, he has something to do with opening the racetrack, and we want to go do that as well. There we go. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Um, you know, I'll just leave you running. Whoop. Okay, here we go. Up here. What's up, Jock? Well, uh, glad to see you. Tell me, why don't you put regular gas in your pile? So we get prices for work to come. Okay, excellent. Okay, okay, there we go. I just can't wait to start modifying the crap out of my car and racing it. All right, here we go. Patience, my friends. Stay thirsty, my friends. Okay, here we go. I don't know where all the Easter eggs are, but, you know, I'm going to find them eventually. Oh, God. Wind it out. All right, so we're on our way home. We're going to grab the... Uh, we're going to go right over to the, the electric smelter and see how that works, and then we're just going to... Smelter? <laughs> Evaporator. <laughs> Smelter. This is a Minecraft. Jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that that's a problem. We lost the barrel. We were recording too hard and we lost the barrel. I see it. Okay, no problem. We'll go back and get it. Perfect. Okay, let's see here. You know what, Barrel, come in the cab with me so I can drive like a maniac, would you? Thanks. All right, here we go. Don't get in my way. There we go. Okay, come on. There we are. Perfection. Oh, 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 God. oh not perfection. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, Barrel in the cab, not a great idea, but it's going to have to do for now. At least we're not too far from home. God, I've been recording for so long right now. I'm starting to get a little bit... My butt's getting sore. This is why I don't record too long. I got work and my butt's sore. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that was a nice dive into that corner there. Oh, God! Uh. Okay, stop, please. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Get, okay, look, barrel. Barrel. I see why. Oh, my God. Now I have a gas can? Get. Okay. Okay, just. Okay. I'm just getting so mad. Okay, barrel, piss off. Thank you. Holy crap. It's a barrel. It's acting like it's a, like in the game of Clue. Trying to murder me in the freaking study with the the the, the, the candlestick. Jesus. I hate you. <laughs> okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, electric smelter. Are you here already? Because if you're here, I'll be excited. I thought I saw it. Let's see. Okay, this is a hundred percent barrel. Nice. This is a hundred percent barrel. Alright. Um, how does this work? So, oh, it just turns on? Like, that's it? And I don't have to do anything or prime anything or anything weird like that? It just does its thing. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is amazing. This is amazeballs. What? Oh, my God. I just flipped the switch. I don't put wood in it. I don't have to hit it with the torch. Oh, my God. There's no heater warning anymore. I wonder if it's any faster. Probably not. But I can drink maple syrup now. Nope, not any faster. But it is working. So I'm going to leave this episode here because this is friggin' amazing. 
like absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe get your friends to subscribe, get your dog to subscribe. I'm stretching. So everything sounds a little bit off right now. Ugh. Oh, geez. And if you didn't like this, that was a really good stretch. <laughs> if you didn't like this, uh, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. This is a hell of a long recording, but it was worth it. Out.